I'm Stuart Roberts of NDF Research, and recently I had the privilege with, of meeting with the Scientific Advisory Board of Casio Therapeutics. We had a great series of interviews with some really talented people. Uh, and first of all, I met with Professor Peter Gunning, who heads the School of Medicine at the University of New South Wales and the Oncology Research Unit there. And I talked to Peter Gunning about some of the work that he did back in the 1970s when he was looking into the molecular architecture of cancer, something that had never been done before. I'd started at Monash as a PhD student. I'd wanted to understand how you actually elaborate the architecture of cells. Right. Using nerves as a, as a model system. Right. Continued that um, into my first postdoc at Stanford, but gene cloning had really just started to gain hold. Yes. And so what I did was then move into a laboratory at Stanford where I could clone the genes that regulate the architecture of cells. Right, well, Unbelievable opportunity. Okay. I spoke to Professor Gunning about the uh, Casia's cantrexel drug, which is now in phase one, and is one of the first drugs in the ovarian cancer space to go after cancer stem cells, known to be a very important new field in the cancer development space generally. That's amazing. I was, I was really impressed um, looking at the first data that actually came um, from Gilmore's lab out of Yale and right. recognising that the investment they had put into understanding the ovarian stem cell uh, that was driving ovarian cancer, being able to set up a model for that and then taking Kentrixel, testing it in their model yes. and the results were astonishing. Right. You right. Just, who could have believed you could actually develop a therapeutic that would be so effective against these stem cells? Aside from Kentrixel, Casia is working on a drug for the treatment of glioblastoma, which is one of the more common brain cancers. Uh, it's a drug that's in license from Genentech called GDC0084. So you look at this and think, the trick is, can you get enough to cross the blood-brain barrier right. so that you've got the potential for efficacy? And the great thing is that what Genentech had done is recognised this is an imp a really important unmet need. Yes. The key was design a compound that would, in fact, deliver across the blood-brain barrier. Yes. Um, there really isn't anything comparable available. Yes. It's, but it's not a big enough scale exercise for Genentech. Right. But it's a fantastic opportunity uh, it's, it's for, for a, a smaller company. I asked Peter Gunning what motivates him about being in science after all these years. And as he shared with me, it comes down to the quality of the science. It's, it's really having that opportunity to exploit everything we learned. And now let's make a really top-notch drug. Mm -hmm.